The problem with learning how to code is actually not knowing where to start. And no, I didn't go to computer science school or get a degree in computer science. I actually learned how to code on the side while working as a full-time mechanical engineer. So in this video, we're gonna talk about where you wanna start. If you wanna learn how to code, we're gonna talk a little bit about code editors since it trips some people up. And then we're gonna finally go over some additional languages that I recommend if you want to be well-rounded. If you're new here, I'm Liz, I'm a data science manager at Intel, but I did get my mechanical engineering degree before I even touched coding. I mean, a little bit in college, but then I transitioned into data science, learned front end development, back end development, all the things. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, otherwise let's jump into it. Now I'm going to recommend something different than most people. So I'm gonna put this into two different buckets. The first one is if you have a full-time job and you're wanting to just make your job easier or you wanna dabble in code, but you're not sure where to start. And then the other one is a student who knows exactly what they wanna be. They wanna be a front-end development or a back-end developer, or they wanna just learn how to code and they don't really care if it's initially applicable because the people that are have full-time jobs, I feel like they're like, oh, coding would be cool, but you don't necessarily need to go brute force coding. You could use some low code applications and get pretty far and get some promotions and automate some things and make you stand out in the workforce without having to go down a whole full-fledged coding plan. So if you have a full-time job, and you're in the industry, okay, I recommend two things. One, if you're working in Excel, I recommend dabbling in VBA. It's called Visual Basic Application. The second thing I recommend is touching Microsoft Power Automate, especially if you're using Microsoft applications like Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Excel, all those things, those two key things are so important. Now VBA is rough, but I'm talking about macros. So you can record code, you can record yourself in Excel and it will basically make the code for you. So that way you can automate some Excel spreadsheets. That's what I'm talking about. So dabble in that. There's a really good VBA course I took by Layla. She also teaches a ton of Microsoft other products like Microsoft Power BI and stuff like that. So I will link the course that I took below. And then as far as Power Automate goes, that's for automation. So you can take attachments off emails and put it into OneDrive automatically without having to drag. Stuff like that, that I think will help you boost in your career without necessarily having to go full-fledged coder. Now, if you're a student and you know you want to learn how to code, or even if you're not a student and you're like, yep, you know what, I've already decided I wanna learn how to code, how do I do it? I recommend starting with front end development because it is so visual of a language. I'm talking about HTML, CSS, um, JavaScript. That is what I'm talking about. Personally, my favorite place to learn front end development and where I personally learned front end development was on a company called SheCodes. I went through all four stages. So they have one that's a basics program. Then they talk about a plus. So getting a little bit more involved with the JavaScript that was JavaScript heavy. And then going into responsiveness, which is making sure that it, the websites look good on your phone as well as on your computer. And then finally doing React, which is like industry standard framework, wrapping all of it together with components and making it like clean and organized. But the thing about SheCodes is they have such a good program. Like there were a learn lesson and then there was a challenge and then there was also homework. So you could like practice your skills and then they would also have solution videos. I feel like a lot of these coding classes don't have solution videos and I'm like sitting there like, it won't work. How do I get it to work? But they won't actually talk about the solution itself. Now this isn't sponsored by SheCodes or anything. It's just a really good course. Um, if you wanna try something for free, there is free code camp. You're just not gonna get the level of education that I think you'll get with SheCodes because they really go over a lot of fundamental skills. So code editors are commonly skipped in these types of videos because they're like, oh, let me just tell you the path. But I wanna talk a little bit about code editors because they're so important. So you can see my screen right here. I'm in Visual Studio Code. This is the, I feel like is the most common code editor, this and Visual Studio, which they're one and the same. One has a little bit more bells and whistles. This one doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but it, I mean, if you're just learning how to code, you can stick with this one. This is the one that almost every class teaches with. So I just wanna give you an idea. You can run Python in here. You can see .py, here's that. You can run HTML, which would be web, web development, which is what I talked about. Um, CSS, more web development. You can even read CSVs in here. So this is like an Excel spreadsheet of just random data. 
Um, but when they talk about terminals and stuff, they're talking about this new terminal at the bottom. You can download stuff and throw stuff um, into your VS Code. So you can down, you can install Python and put this all into your VS Code. So you can work with multiple different languages in the same code editor. Um, you can have files. Um, it's really great. You can even um, link this to GitHub and store your code. Um, but I have other videos for that kind of stuff. I just wanted to give you an idea of what a real code editor um, looks like. Once you get a feel for how front end development works, you're, you have an idea on how to install stuff into VS Code, how to use that code editor. You're gonna dabble a little bit in APIs, which is very important because APIs run everything these days. And then you will know how the internet is coded and how JavaScript and HTML and CSS all works together. Now, the next thing you wanna bring into your coding journey is a database language or structure like SQL. Now, I recommend using a SQL class that's on Khan Academy. It's completely free. It's how I learned SQL. It has an interactive data um, or editor, so you can code within the website, so you don't even have to open up VS Code at all. And then it can check your solution as well. They don't have solution videos, I will warn you. So if you need a solution, let me know because I have them all, but that was the most frustrating thing about that course. Now, once you get SQL down, I recommend now dabbling into Python because Python is so universal and they have these things called modules or libraries. So everything that you want to learn how to do, there's a different library for. So if you want to play around with PDFs and you want to steal information off PDFs, you're going to use a library that's focused on PDFs. And then if you want to do something that kind of like Excel, where you're going to manipulate data, you're going to use a library that's all about that, like the library called Pandas. So each thing in Python, there's a library for. So that's what you want to start thinking about what libraries you want to use in Python, but I think getting the fundamentals down will be very important. Now this should give you a good starting point on your, your coding journey. It's, I know it's overwhelming. You're trying to figure out what to do, what not to do. It's a long journey. I went through this. Okay, I went into front end development and then I moved on into, well, I started with VBA actually. That was the first language. I started with VBA and Excel. I got hooked because I thought it was cool. It was, a, it was a painful language, but I got hooked on that. And then I went into front end development, went full fledged front end development. And then I went into SQL, then I touched Python, and then I started working with Power Automate, and I started building like this almost like resume of all these languages. And I mean, it's a really fun journey, but it is no joke. So if you wanna learn more about coding and stuff, I have a couple other videos. I have a full stack video that I will link up here if you wanna see the difference between front end development, back end development, all the terms that they like to throw around. I call them gatekeeping terms, but you know. But um, I will link those below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.